And, and uh, just real quick for the boring bar itself, what a rigid setup. I mean, I take a piece of one inch, cold rolled, there's the uh, set screws in it, put the uh, fly cutter in it. Like I said, I have it, I measured it with my test piece to get me the bore I needed, exactly two inches. And then I have a nice collet in there. Of course, that goes the whole way up in. Uh, it's long. Of course, what's nice about that is it's very, it's, I can reuse this. Uh, but boy, is it rigid and uh, works so much better than when I had played around using, let's see if I have another cutter here. It works so much better, honestly, than this setup. Um, this was what I had used early on when boring the cast iron cylinders, and I just wasn't getting the finish I needed. I mean, it was nice, it was adjustable, but just wasn't getting what I needed. So I ended up with, with that as my setup. Actually, that's not what the final setup was. Let me show you that. <coughs> this is what I came up with as the final, as the final setup right here. Take a look at that. So basically, machined a long adapter um, and here again I, I tapered it down its inch but I tapered down seven eighths because I couldn't find my inch call it which then I did find for here but it's seven eighths still not that bad um, made that threaded it and put the head on boy did this work nice there's the bit very little of it showing but I mean it worked it was beautiful I couldn't fit this in the sleeve because this thing is two inches so instead of modifying this and whatever, I just went with this solution, which I knew I could do it one cut, so it wasn't an issue. So there you go. Probably too much that you needed to know there, but just thought I'd let you know there. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.